So before I start this movie review, I just want to give a big shout out to IMDb, where I get all my information and fun facts from. What's up, everyone? Movie Mania Nick here with another movie review. Actually, another Christmas movie review. This time, the movie is It's a Wonderful Life, which came out in 1946. It starred James Stewart, Donna Reed, Lionel Barrymore, Thomas Mitchell, Henry Travers, and the director was Frank Copra. So this movie is basically about an angel is sent from heaven to help a desperately frustrated businessman by showing him what life would have been like if he had never existed. All right, guys, I've seen this movie several times. I watch it every year. It's a must. It's a holiday tradition for me. I enjoy this film. I love the film. If you have never seen this film, I highly recommend to see this film. Um, and actually, if you do not like this film and think there's something wrong with the film, put it in the comments below because I would like to know. What, what your opinion of the film, if you like it or don't like it, put it in the comments below. I would like to know. But for me, this is a fantastic film. This is how a film is supposed to be made, um, especially at the time, 1946. Great films came out in the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, the, you know, how it was supposed to be made back then. Um, the cast, the cinematography, the special effects were amazing. Very few special effects, not a lot, but the storyline, the love story, especially with the characters of James Stewart and Donna Reed were fantastic. The chemistry between them two were fantastic. Uh, there are a few funny moments in this film. There's one scene where George jumps into the river, the angel comes down, saves them. They go back to the, I guess, the bridge keeper's area and the bridge keeper is there and then the angel starts describing i'm an angel i'm trying to get my wings and the bridge keeper starts freaking out he wants to get out of there he tries to get out of there he tries to find the door not to open up the door but he stumbles along the way he falls down it's it's a pretty funny scene but through the movie there is some funny lines funny scenes um i enjoyed it but everybody did a fantastic, great job on this movie. I like this film. I think it's a must to see this film. I highly recommend to see this film. It is a fun, family-friendly movie. Hardly any curse words in this film at all. I, would say, I don't think there's any at all, actually. But like I said, I highly recommend to go see this film. Uh, I know it's on Hulu, Netflix, Demand, Amazon Prime. They show it every year on TV around Christmas time, Thanksgiving. If you own the DVD, even better. And now it's time for fun facts, and there's quite a few of them, so stay tuned. Now the first fa fun fact I'm gonna tell you guys I thought was very interesting. The scene where Uncle Billy drunkenly leaves the Bailey home, it sounds if he stumbles into some trash cans, but in fact, a crew member dropped a large tray of props right after Thomas Mitchell went off screen. James Stewart began laughing and Mitchell quickly improvised. This is the line and it is in the film. I'm all right. I'm okay. Also, the gym floor that opens in the middle to reveal a swimming pool underneath was real and is still in regular use. Director Frank Copra Alton said that this was his favorite of all his films. The set for Bedford Falls was constructed in two months and was one of the longest sets that had ever been made for an American movie. It covered four acres of RKO's Encino Randa. Or Rondo. The Martinis are based on director Frank Copra's own family. This was Donna Reed's first starring role. This was filmed during a heat wave and it was so hot, Frank Copra gave 
everyone a day off to recuperate. At 3.7 million, this was a very expensive independent production. Its initial box office run, it only earned 3.3 million. The film takes place from 1919 to December 24th, 1946. There are 42 rings heard over the course of the film. Clarence's voice is heard in the opening scenes, but does not appear in the flesh until the last 30 minutes of the film and is on screen for only 15 minutes. The film is included on Roger Ebert's great movies list. And finally, Sam Wainwright's catchphrase, Hee haw is said 13 times throughout the film and not always by him. And that's it, guys. That is my Christmas movie review for It's a Wonderful Life, which came out in 1946. I hope you guys enjoyed that. As usual, smash that like button, support, share, hit that notification bell. It'll notify you when my next video vlog will be up. Also, catch me on Instagram under the same name, Movie Mania Nick. And remember, stay safe, be excellent to each other, and party on, dudes. And have a nice holiday.